I is back with another shop. I haven't been shopping for a fortnight, so yeah. Um, this is another shop. It's I've been to Tesco's today. I have spent quite a bit of money, but in fairness, it's to last for two weeks um, because I actually enjoyed not having to worry or go like shopping last week which was really good like food shopping and stuff obviously I needed like milk bread that kind of thing but I didn't have to do a big shop so it was actually really really nice so if you're returning hi thank you very much for coming back and if you're new hi my name's Rosie I generally upload videos a couple of times a week lifestyle blogs hauls today's video is a haul if if you enjoyed the video that you're about to watch please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i would appreciate very very much if you could push that subscribe button and also i'm over on instagram if you'd like to give me a following over there and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up what, what have i just said did any of that make sense because like seriously i've been shopping all day my plan was was to go out this morning to go shopping get my bits and pieces and it's, it's, everything's just gone wrong. I will explain all very, very shortly. So let's try and start this bit again. So if you enjoy the video you're about to watch, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as it just helps me understand what videos you guys prefer watching and enjoy. And also if you are new to my channel, again, I would love if you would subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. And also if you... Uh, over on Instagram I would love if you could give me a following over there as well um right so today shopping I have spent I'm just gonna quickly go through this because there's a lot so there's a meal plan there's uh, well I did a list there's a meal plan and can I also just say this year so if, if you've got any nasty comments to make then you know this isn't the video for you please you know just yeah move on um, and also, I'm not poisoning my kids. I haven't robbed a bank. This is a shop for a large family of nine in the UK. Um, and I'm not being funny, but yeah, it's just because I get, you know, obviously the last time I did a big, big shop, I got a, I got a, well, I got a few nasty comments. Um, and I'm just kind of like dealing with them. So, yeah. If you've not got anything nice to say, then just don't say it and just don't watch my video. You don't have to watch me. It's as simple as my lovelies. Um, I have spent £426. I saved £66. Actually, I'm lying because I can't see. I saved £64 with promotions, um, including vouchers. And yeah, I will work that out later. So if you work that out, obviously, so I spent, all in all, I spent £362. Oh, wow. I've saved, as I said, I've saved £64. Duh. <laughs> um, so £360, split that into two because that's two weeks shopping and a few little bits of extras and stuff that I needed. Um, so yeah, if you split that into, what is what is that? That's like 150 it's like £180 for both, well, for each week. But there are a few things that I needed to get because, yeah, I just needed to get them on the wrong list. So I'm just going to get into it. I'm sorry, guys, I'm just popping the receipt on there. So I'm just going to get into it because there's a lot to get through. It's currently four o'clock. By the time I have finished this video, I'm going to try and edit it and get it up tonight. If I don't, then I promise it will be up for, what day is it today? It's Wednesday and I promise it'll be up for Thursday. I, yeah, um, I'm just, I'm just going to get into it. If I remember prices, I'll pop prices in. Can I also just say that most of this is club card prices. I have tried to stick to anything that was on offer, anything that was on deal. So, yeah, I'm just going to get into it. Um, I did do a list, a shopping list for anybody that's curious. And I have got kind of like meal plans in mind. Well, I've got some in mind. Um, 
but yeah so to start with this is all the kind of like cleaning bits and pieces in fairness there's no cleaning bits and pieces because I didn't need anything um, apart from dishwasher tablets but these are Tesco's own and these are literally under five pounds so I grabbed them you get 40 in the um bag and in fairness I've had these before and they're the lemon ones and they're just as good as fairy and stuff and you save a hell of a lot of money um so yeah 40 of those also can I also just say if I make too much noise I do apologize um but it is very very difficult to do especially when you're picking up plastic carriers and things like that it's quite difficult so if there's any noise again I am um, apologizing in advance um but yet yeah, there's going to be items being picked up so there's going to be noises because I don't have a lot of space in my kitchen um so yeah just switch off and don't watch the video <laughs> unfortunately um and then Lexi needs a new quilt so I've just bought this single tog I think it was like about 11 pounds 50 um 13.5 soft duvet and then I can turn the heating down a little bit of an evening because obviously gas prices have gone up again so I've electricity so my plan is is and I was I was making a bed the other day and I realized that she is she needs a new duvet cover because hers is rather old and it's been washed so many times that now you know when all the padding kind of like starts to move to the bottom um so yeah she's due an upgrade so I just bought her the single one from Tesco's um which in the past I've had them before and I think they're, they're actually all right so yeah just over 11 pound for that washing tablets um these were like £10.50 it's the large pack for 51 washes those were on offer spring awakening um Tesco's non-stick grease proof paper that wasn't on offer but I'm gonna do some baking and some pizzas and things with the kids so yeah um okay so to get into everything that's kind of like disastered today my I walked into Tesco's my tooth broke um so I now need to go to the dentist so I'm gonna try and get an emergency appointment tomorrow I'm just really worried about my teeth um intensive enamel repair extra fresh toothpaste so yeah it was on offer as well so I grabbed that it was about £3.50 um, this is usually about £5 something I think so I saved about £2 on that um, a pan because I got up this morning I'm now down to about £2 I think I've got about 2 or £3 and because I got up this morning and somebody's burnt something to the bottom of one of the pans so and I couldn't get it off and I've scrubbed it and scrubbed it and scrubbed it and they've just left it sitting overnight soaking but obviously yeah it was just beyond repair so I've had to buy another pan to replace that one this one was £22 because um, this is the set that I've currently got and they're actually really good pans unless you put my children in charge and then one of them burns something to the bottom of the pan and then yeah like just literally desecrates it so new pan new toothpaste I've not had this toothpaste before so I'm going to try that um wanted to give this a shot for a long time it's the wild refillable natural deodorant and the good thing with this is, is it just refills so it's less wastage and stuff and it's good for the environment and everything else that comes with it it's 24 hour protection and you can get I think is it three or four different fragrances this one's the pomegranate and pink peppercorn so I just wanted to try that um some disposable razors because my husband's gone and shaved all his beard off which I'm actually devastated about um but never mind these things happen so I just grabbed them they were on offer as well Redox this is like new and improved mood fragrance boost and stuff so yeah I need this at the moment um strawberry and raspberry smell strawberry and raspberry smell strawberry and raspberry I'm gonna say fragrance um it was a pound so I just grabbed that because if anything helps you to kind of like feel a little bit better about yourself then that's great I'm all for trying it um some black pants which I literally I've just picked these up for work they're just plain black pants they were in the sale they were nine pounds they should have been 17 pound 50 so I've saved money there as well um some tea towels because we always need tea towels in my house i think these were about three pounds 54 pounds something like that anyways i don't actually remember the price guys so please don't quote me on that 
I'm just going to pop them to one side. Some knives and forks because if you'd have seen my Instagram story about, I'm going to say a couple of weeks ago now, or even last week, was it? Yeah, I've, I've noticed that all my knives and forks are slowly depleting again. Um, I think the kids just have a habit of when you ask them to empty the plate, even though you say to them, make sure with it, you take the knife and fork off. Yeah, no, let's just say, I don't think they are. But this was £8. I've had these before. I really like the set. So it was the last one on the shelf. So I just grabbed it. Pads. Always. All purpose scissors. Because I'm going to be decorating. And the kids seem to always take my scissors to make things with them. That, and then they never give you them back. Um, just some Tesco's regular tampons. Um, yeah. Gillette shaving gel again that was on deal um, silky these are silk scrunchies now I thought I was paying £10 for them I actually wasn't they were reduced to £4.50 and then they were reduced to £2.25 so that's today's absolute amazing serving really chuffed with that and they're silk so they won't like get caught in my hair and stuff which is actually really good um colgate max white crystals again this was on offer usually like five pound i think it was like down to two pound fifty which is really good and it's the big one so i'm happy about that it last lenore desert rose this is the outside one this was on offer as well 55 washes well it wasn't on was it on offer no it was on it was club card club card deal club card savings um i think it was like three pounds fifty it's usually i think about five pounds is it something like that i'm not sure um then we've got we'll move over to this bit i'll just yeah those are the dishwasher tablets i've already done that can you my phone in the background i will just ignore it for the time being if it's important they'll phone me back um so we've got some white rolls for tonight because i'm gonna do sausage dogs if that makes sense i'm just gonna do some sausages and they're gonna go in the hot dog buns um and then i'm gonna do like fries and stuff with it and other bits and pieces pizza soft bread well pita soft warburton's soft pita breads whole meal um i picked up two packs of those apologies for the lighting as well my kitchen is absolutely rubbish and i know we're about to lose the light in the uk very very shortly mind you saying that i think it's starting to get dark about five o'clock now so we are starting to move forward because we are going into british springtime kind of thing very very soon so um yeah the lights, the lights, the nights are starting to get a little bit lighter, which is a really good thing because I don't like the dark nights. Um, when I used to, was was a home carer, well, when a home support worker, um, yeah, I just, it, it, it spins, it, it, it comes from then doing home care um, when you're out in the dark and, and all the weathers and whatever else on your own to like 10 o'clock at night, it's not nice. Um, but yeah. So hopefully we'll have the daylight till about five o'clock, fingers crossed. Sesame seed bagels, one pack of those. Neville's uh, pan au chocolat, I always got two packs of those. I use the snacks, um, pack lunches, that kind of stuff. Cheerios, now the story to tell about the Cheerios is I forgot to scan it. I literally forgot to scan one item this happened to me a little while ago as well and obviously if you go through like the self-service bit if you forget to scan one item and i got pulled in for a check because i had a massive shop and i forgot to literally scan this one item so the lady bless i had to scan it all over again um, she was absolutely lovely about it and she packed my bags better than I did the first time around. Um, so this is why I'm now just getting in and filming at four o'clock. And yeah, so materials, materials did it. This was four pound a box. You just got to remember to scan everything. It's yeah, these were on offer shredded wheat. These are literally there's 30 biscuits in there and there were um it's the big box and there were three pound fifty on club card um some smooth peanut butter 
because I have that with my breakfast, I have it with everything to be fair, I love peanut butter. Um, but it's got to be the smooth one and it's got to have no like added salt or sugar or anything in it. But yeah, I usually have it with like honey or something and fruit and things like that. Um, seedless, back down here we go, seedless raspberry jam, Stockwell's chocolate spread, triple chocolate um hot cross buns i've seen these they were the last pack and xander loves anything with chocolate so i thought you know what i'm gonna grab them and i like a hot cross bun oh something's just fell off there we go that's what happens when you try and clutter everything um sorry guys four triple hot chocolate hot cross buns yeah xander in anything chocolate and I like a hot cross bun. I like them toasted with butter on. Does anybody else like hot cross buns? And I know now they do like loads of different flavours and stuff, don't they? What is your favourite flavour of a hot cross bun? Um, I like the plain ones and I like the apple ones. And I, I'm, I've not tried the triple chocolate ones before. So I'm going to be naughty and have one of them. Um, just a little treat later on for my supper, I think. Can't wait. Very excited about that. Um, then we've got just some Tesco's toasty bread. Guys, again, I'm, I apologise about the light. It's absolutely horrible. Um, the shadows, I could stand there just like doing like all, you know, like all those like, sorry, I see the hands. And I stand there doing like all those animal things on the walls and stuff if I knew what I was doing. Um, eggs, medium, 12 free range. Blah, 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 blah. this is basically spicy ramen noodles you can generally get them in the pots which tesco's have started doing them in the packs um which is really good i think they're just over a pound each which again is really good so i picked up three of those um because the kids love these just for like a snack that kind of thing and they are spicy so yeah um but you can actually leave the spices out with them so it's not too bad for myself because i wanted to try this it's a pasta pot protein carbonara but it is i think it's it vegan it's vegan so it's there's no meat or anything in it and um, so i'm gonna give that a go it looks i'm hoping it tastes better than it looks <laughs> um i should have put this in with the fruit and vegetables to be fair some beetroot just the sweet and fiery one because as much as I like pickled stuff, it gives me a bad stomach now. Whereas years ago, I could eat it till the cows came home. Um, now I, it gives us a bad stomach. So if I'm going to buy beetroot, which I absolutely love, I tend to get like this one. Um, or I get like the sweet smoky one, which is really nice as well. It's already shredded, I think, though. But I just got this one today. Anyways, um, Sensations. This is a new flavour. It's crushed sea salt and black pepper. So I thought, I'm, I'm, maybe try them. See what they're like. Just a four pack of Italian tomatoes. I know these are like £1.80 because I do I'll, I use these as a lot of like for bases, for sauces and things like that. Um, and they're already chopped. Then we've got some cheese for the kids because we are going to be making homemade pizzas at some point. Um, so yeah, I picked up some cheese. I'll tell you one thing I did find that I couldn't find my Tesco's doesn't do um Cathedral City plant-based cheese I was actually devastated um but I've got some in the fridge so it's not too bad I was just looking because I thought if I'm making pizzas I might need well I'm probably going to need more but never mind um it is yeah unfortunately I'll just have to see if I can maybe get some when I next go shopping which will be not next week but the week after so yeah snack attack Sandra's got a skill trip somewhere, a pound on offer again. Um, pineapple pieces, these are new. I thought I'm going to grab these because Lexi loves a pineapple and it's fruit. So, yeah, and we can use these to put on the pizzas as well. Mm, see, I'm clever. <laughs> Rather than buying tinned, I'll just use these ones. Um, that's if there's any left, to be fair, because, yeah, they'll be used for pack lunches and snacks and things, um, supper time, that kind of stuff, and over the weekend... Oh, and it's half term next week, isn't it? Oh, my word. I forgot. Where I live, it's half term. So, yeah, I'll be needing things for dinners and stuff. So, hopefully, yep, yeah, these will come in handy and things like that. Anyways, it's Easter, so I got some mini eggs and these are on offer as well. So, we've got two and there's like four in the pack. Just a little treat for the kids. Pop those on there. And then we've got some innocent smoothies another box of innocence movies because again these were on club card offer so i grabbed two boxes of those um some plant greek style yogurt for me because i'm finding that 
this actually works better than the normal yogurt. It doesn't give us a bad stomach. It doesn't bloat us. So I am thinking that there may be a little bit of an intolerance there for dairy after all, because um, the cheese is working really well, the plant cheese is working really well, and the um, plant yogurt is working really well as well. It doesn't bloat me, neither of them, neither of them do. Actimal, just two lots of that, because it's like the gut health um, immune support, and it's actually really good, and this was on offer as well. Um, so yeah, I just put, picked up two boxes of those. Some flora, that was on offer, that's the big size. Um, mushroom in and Madeira sauce grabbed that for my pasta plant chef um, garlic and herb soft cheese because I'm going to use this as like a base like a sauce base for pasta um, it's not cheese it's plant chef so I'm going to try that and hopefully it'll be actually really really nice um, cream egg pots of joy again it's Easter there's two lots of those um, and they were on offer Primula, that was on offer. I won't have that as much as I love it. I just got it for like Megan and stuff because again, you can do like sauces with these and stuff, and you can have like um, just on toast and things like that, or crackers if you want crackers and stuff. Um, but yeah, I won't eat it because it generally tends to give me a bad stomach, so I'll stay away from it. Uh, Philadelphia Light, again, it's just for Megan. Um, she'll make sauces and stuff with that for our pasta and things. It just replaces the Plant Chef one. My, well, my Plant Chef one replaces that I won't use the Philadelphia. Um, some coarse mushroom pate. Absolutely amazing. Actually, I don't know if it's amazing because I've never had it, but it looks amazing. <laughs> and I like pate, so I, yeah, I'm going to try the mushroom pate. Um, Dunkers for pack lunches and stuff. Those weren't on offer. Um... This was like four for three, I think. Yeah, so we've got a Cherry Bakewell, which is the gym kitchen. Never tried these. And I know they are probably dairy, so I won't be eating them. Um, everybody else will. Well, my husband probably will. High protein, banoffee pie flavour. Um, this one, though, is blueberry muffin, and it's whey and cassian. It's whey. I think whey's milk powder, isn't it? So I probably won't be eating that either. Oh, well, never mind. Blueberry muffin um, and a salted caramel. Another salted caramel, so yeah. Um, chicken, breaded chicken steaks because Xander had been on at me for the past week to get these so I finally picked two lots up of those and then just some innocent smoothie on offer again Nando's garlic um, piri piri sauce on offer again Cathedral City Extra Mature, this is for my husband that was on offer, the coleslaw wasn't on offer, um, mince, meat, chicken, it's about £2.49, um, the same as Aldi, and then underneath, oh hang on a second, we'll get to that in a minute, um, some turkey mince, rump steak, just two of those, and then some sirloin stick and these were on offer as well these were down to i think these were like four pound so i grabbed two of those and then i grabbed a set of the two i think these were like they're about 10 pounds for the two so yeah um and then underneath we've got some chicken breast which i will i'll take it apart and then, well, I won't take it apart, but I'll pop it into bags, I'll separate it, and then I'll freeze it, use it as we need it. Um, because the dog has a fresh diet as well, so he will well, it's a fresh cook diet, so he'll kind of like share um like the chicken mince and stuff like that's for the dog, and then he'll have like the chicken breast and stuff as well. Um we've also got some burgers, we've got four lots of quarter pounders. I'm lying, we've got two lots of quarter pounders, um, some chorizo because I think my husband's going to make his chicken and chorizo paella again. We've got some ham for sandwiches and stuff. Some wicked spinach and wild garlic ravioli. This is, I think is it vegan? It's gluten free. It's got no dairy in it or anything, which I'm going to give this a go because, yeah. The pasta that I had the last time, which I bought, I can't remember what it was, as nice as it was. It had um, ricotta and everything in which actually ended up giving me a bad stomach. So... I'm trying to, I'm not going vegetarian, I'm not going vegan, but I'm trying to kind of like 
go for things that don't have dairy in them and I find that a lot of stuff that doesn't have dairy in it is like vegan and vegetarian so yeah um I'm gonna give this a shot and then I've got some pizza pepperoni I've got two packs of that because the kids are gonna make some homemade pizzas I think possibly over the weekend um it just gives them something to look forward to because they enjoy making their own pizzas and stuff and i like making my own pizza because then i know what's going in it and it's just yeah it passes the time um it's, it's actually really fun i don't mind it <laughs> um then we've got some boneless salmon this is half a salmon it's a lot bigger than it looks it's like literally folded up in the pack and everything um so i've got one of those my plan with this is literally i'm just going to kind of like cut it cook it cut it and then i'm gonna um pop it in some what do they call it like where you make the food and then you kind of like freeze it or you put it in the fridge and you, as you get it as you need it bulk cooking and whatever else i'm gonna do that i'm gonna try and do some of that um, and then I've got stuff ready sitting waiting. At least I say I'm going to try and do some of that. I probably won't because I know what I'm like. Um, something else will come up and I'll completely forget about it. But in my mind, I that is what I'm doing. <laughs> Sage and onion stuffing. It's just Tesco's own. I think it's about 45p. Do lots of whole wheat pasta because we eat this and then the dog has it as well. Um, chicken drumsticks chicken drumstick fillets this is new um and i'm just going to use them for things like when i make curries and stuff like that i thought that's are really good and the dog can have some as well so i'm sorry that i've got two packs of that and it's a whole lot cheaper than the like the chicken um breast and stuff but yeah i just like to have a mixture of things because i find that different things go better in different recipes if that makes sense um finally i bought some sriracha sauce because i spotted it and it was on offer I got that I think it was like two pounds for the yeah and every time like I go anywhere else I always either forget it it's too expensive or it's out of stock so I grabbed that something new else something else that's new that I really wanted to try I thought it would be nice for maybe next week um strawberry and raspberry press and it says it's new and it looks nice and it sounds nice and it's non-alcoholic it's literally just strawberry and raspberry in sparkling water and i think it sounds it sounded really nice and i thought valentine's now i'm not celebrating valentine's because i'm working and my hubby's working and in fairness i just think it's a lot of hype but we are going to have like make the time at some point this week to kind of like sit down and ha just have some nice food and i thought that would be look a glass of that would be really nice with it so i'm gonna pop that in the fridge and hopefully yeah um i'm just gonna put a big massive sticker on it saying please do not use do not open until next week uh two lots of milk semi skimmed milk because my tesco's have stopped doing the six pints so i've had to get two four pints um some lean minced beef just two lots of that because again i like to make all sorts with it so yeah i just got two of those some cumberland sausages there for tonight for the sausage dogs and then these smell absolutely amazing six aberdeen angus beef sausages and i thought Do you know what it was the smell absolutely honestly if i had smell a vision and you could like literally smell them through the camera if you've had them before you'll know what i mean um but they were like two for five pounds i know they're on deal um but i only got the one pack because it'll just be me and probably my better half that'll have them so yeah but absolutely mm, nom nom but they just smell amazing and then because i do a lot of cooking like fresh stuff and things like that so like recipes and things um beef stock cubes because i'm gonna try and make my own gravy i haven't made my own gravy in such a long time and i've literally got a joint of beef here <laughs> so if you can see that i'm gonna do like a roast beef so we've got a slow roasting beef joint which is literally silver side um i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna try and make my own gravy so i've got some beef stock cubes oh if we can see them beef stock cubes um i've already got like cornstarch and stuff in the well corn flour and stuff in the um cupboard so yeah do you know what i'm just looking at every like people's sheds and stuff in the back garden right and that wind and 
everything else well that wind that we had like the last week was that strong it's literally ripped i'm looking like down into neighbors gardens and it's not just took our shed roof off it's took like everybody's it's it was so bad um tesco's and then we've got some garlic and thyme stock pots because i thought you know what they'll be nice for like rice and stuff um and then just some vegetable stock pots and these are like one pound for each um and they're actually i think they're just as good as the branded uh, i mean if the branded are cheaper because if they're on deal sometimes the branded work out cheaper but they weren't on deal so i just literally got these ones because i just think yeah they're just as good uh tesco's own apple and black currant juice and then i got the apple and strawberry i've got some up on the windowsill i got some sugar some easy action dry yeast um this is for like the pizza bases because we're going to make our own pizza bases well usually i buy the pre-rolled which are, are very good um well, at least i don't think they're very good that's just my opinion so i, I just said you know i said to my husband like i think it was last night i said should we just try and make well i try and make our own i haven't made my own pizza dough for i'm gonna say quite some time um, but I'm going to give it a shot. So I got some organic strong white flour for pizza bases and bread. And if I want to make some bread, if there's anything left over, I can maybe make some bread. But there probably won't be anything left over. So yeah. And now I'm just rambling, so I'm going to shut up about the pizza dough and the bread. <laughs> um, red kidney beans, some chickpeas, fruit medley in juice, um, Tesco's own some peach slices in light syrup i literally got four i think thinking the way i got four four tins of those um excuse the fairy and then just some light coconut milk did i get light yeah i did i got light coconut milk this is like 75p a tin these were like 34p 30 some, some, they were, i'm just shutting up now uh aromat seasoning again i finally picked some up because i ran out last week and I wasn't going shopping just for aromat seasoning so I waited till I went today and I just grabbed it, popped it on the list and got it. Um, red Thai curry paste. Tesco's have their own which was like £2.40 and this was on offer for like £2 so I grabbed this one. I've not tried this one, I'm hoping, it says it's new, I'm hoping it's alright. Usually I used to go to the Chinese market to get like my curry paste and stuff but it's quite away from a that's in them yeah it's quite away from us and unless i'm in town and i'm not in town um i would pick it up but obviously yeah so i'm hoping that this one's going to be all right because i want to do like thai red curries and stuff um but anyways yeah fingers crossed if anybody's tried this one let me know if it's any good fish sauce because again curries red thai curries um just some light soy sauce. We've done the beef. Some chocolate mint flavour angel delight because the kids just love anything mint chocolate. Um, and I spotted that and I thought, okay, we'll try that. Um, the plan is to have it with some, they can have it with some fruit. So 80p each, I just grabbed two. Clear honey, I grabbed two of those because it was cheaper just to grab two of these ones. Than it was to buy the big one um so I just grab those and then we're gonna move on excuse the cup in the sink that was actually my water until my hubby made us a cup of tea and then i've got to now get a cup of tea which is actually going cold um so we're literally gonna again apologies for the light this is absolutely i'm just gonna see hopefully you can see that my lovelies uh blueberries red grapes these are Tesco's finest, but they were actually on, oh sugar, they were actually on offer. Uh, apologies for that loud noise. They were actually on offer, so it was cheaper to buy these um, than it was like the normal grapes. Yeah. Um, baby plum tomatoes again on offer, seventy five p. Really good. Purple sprout and broccoli. I'm not sure if that was this one was on offer. I don't think it was. But I grabbed it anyways because I'm having Nando's chicken tonight. The kids, I think, are having um, sausage dogs. And I was going to have Nando's chicken, but I could actually just have the sausage dogs as well, couldn't I? Or I could do, like, the sausage dogs in 
the wholemeal pita breads. Actually, that's a plan. So when I do Nando's chicken, I'll have Nando's chicken when they have the chicken burgers. Mm, there we go. So that's a plan. Um, cucumber, lettuce, some sweet easy peelers. They'll actually look really, really nice. I just got two lots of those. I'm really excited to try those. Some bananas, um, loose bananas. They were one pound. 56 no i'm lying they weren't one pound 56 actually don't know how much they were because the price you can't see the price but anyways um when i'm in tesco's i always try to buy the loose to, loose bananas because i think they're a lot better um some strawberries just two packs because i went to get the bigger strawberries and they were all that ripe that they were literally seep and juice out of the bottom of them onto everything so i just thought yeah i've seen these ones I just thought, you know what, I'm going to grab these ones. So I got two packs of those. Some, two lots of broccoli. Two lots of garlic apples. These were like 95 cents each. They were, they were on the Tesco's um, deal. The, the fruit and veg deal thing. So yeah, 95p. Picked up two of those because Jaden loves his apples. Sweet potatoes. Just grabbed some of those. And then I got exotic mixed, mixed mushrooms because um, I'm going to do like a mixed exotic mushroom pasta at some point with the um, sauce and stuff like Philadelphia but I'm not going to use Philadelphia like the soft cheese if that makes sense um, carrots, onions, these were on offer these were on the five for whatever um, you know like the, 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 the fruit and veg deal yeah these were on that so I grabbed some onions um, crispy potato slices this is what the kids are having tonight with their sausage dogs just two of those it was three for two so i grabbed some of them and then i got some sweet potato fries for myself and my hubby um custard powder because this works out it's two pound for this one and it works out cheaper because i'll get so much more custard out of it for the kids um and i haven't made my own custard in such a long time and i thought do you know what i'm just i'm, I'm gonna do it and yes i mean it is the powder but because i'm not doing it from scratch with the vanilla pods and the eggs and everything else because none of my luck will get sweet scrambled eggs so i'm not doing it um and then we've just got some chocolate cookies and some kit kats and these are just for like snacks and pack lunches um in fairness they were the only kind of like sweet things biscuit wise that i bought that i picked up and that's it my lovelies so this is ignore that cup and that in the sink this is my food haul actually got quite a lot for my money which is actually like really good and i'm really pleased with the savings like the idea that i saved is like 60 odd pounds absolutely amazing brilliant um oh i just turned that round also can i just say thank you so much for all your well wishes of getting well and things like that can i just say though that literally on sunday oh and i'm telling everybody that i thought i was better well no um let's just say i got up on monday morning and it came at me with a vengeance i mean i have never been in so much pain in all my life um so i ended up having to get an emergency uh, prescription for antibiotics and stuff i am on the mend now but again i just wanted to say thank you for everybody that wished me well um so yeah the end of the video so in one day i have Cracked a tooth, um, forgot to scan a box of cereal, which then cost me literally another hour on top of whatever. Um, I thought it was something else and I can't remember what it is and I know for a fact I will remember once I've stopped talking to you and I know, oh well never mind. Right, anyways, I'm going to go because I am well aware now that it's literally 20 to 5 and need to start the kids' teas and my own because um, I've had no lunch, which is, yeah, it's just been one of those days. So I'm hungry um, and I'm ready for something to eat. So I'm going to hopefully get this edited. If it's not up by this evening, which it probably... I'm hoping it will be, but I don't think it will be. But it will definitely be up for tomorrow, which is Thursday. Um, so take care, stay safe, lots of love. Did I even ask you how your week's been? I haven't, have I? Like, I've, no, I'm, I'm so nasty. Like, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I'm just, I 
I've kind of like, I'm just, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I've just kind of like overloaded myself again as usual. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe and check out my Instagram. Again, take care. Lots of love. Stay safe. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.